So now we're going to have Sean Duffy from Omada Health. Sean. Appreciate it. Welcome. Hello, everybody. Uh, so I am Sean Duffy. I'm the co-founder and CEO um, of a startup called Omada Health. Uh, we're headquartered in San Francisco. Um, so I'll spend the next six minutes talking about uh, a concept called digital therapeutics, which is really behavioral medicine um, uh, kind of delivered over, over the other end of an internet connection. Uh, so there is a field of medicine called behavioral medicine. Uh, traditionally, it's delivered uh, like this in a face-to-face -face setting, and this involves helping people with anything that's behaviorally related. So, uh, you know, weight loss, stress, anxiety, sleep disorders, uh, you know, a whole, a whole host of things where you can really move the needle with someone um, from a behavioral standpoint and, and have a clinical impact, um, but typically you have to do it in person. Uh, and really the reason for this is the efficacy of behavioral therapies, if you really look at the literature, is in large part derived by emotional relationships. So it's the social interactions between people that can make the biggest difference in actually delivering a positive clinical result. So these are things like feeling supported, feeling loved, having some human accountability on the other side. This is really what moves the needle. And the thesis behind our company and this evolving space is really that you can create those interactions at high enough fidelity using web, mobile, uh, and kind of social interactions uh, delivered remotely to actually get a clinical outcome. And then when you get a clinical outcome, you can commercialize that outcome. So we call that digital therapeutics, which is really just this idea that there is a whole host uh, of behavioral medicine therapies that exist in the world that are proven in a face-to-face -face setting that you can actually bring to the web and deliver uh, digitally. And you know, we think this enables uh, you know, a whole lot of interesting things. Uh, so at our company, we got interested in diabetes first. Um, in the US, there are 85 million uh, Americans with prediabetes, which is when you have higher than normal blood sugar, but you're not quite at type 2. Uh, so the population of France is, what, around 66 million. So more people in the US have prediabetes than the whole country of France. Um, people tend to progress from prediabetes into type 2 diabetes at about 5 to 10% a year. Uh, and that's really the progression that, we, that you really want to avoid. Um, thankfully, it's possible to do so, and this is the basis for our company. So there's a very famous clinical study uh, called the Diabetes Prevention Program that took people with prediabetes, really dropped in the paratroopers for them, helped them in a high-touch basis, uh, lose weight, make the sort of changes in their life to ideally reduce the risk, and lo and behold, it worked. Um, there are 10-year data to show that you can really help slow or avoid the progression of type 2 diabetes. And this led to an initiative in the US called the CDC's National Diabetes Prevention Program, uh, which was actually part of Obama's Affordable Care Act. And the vision for this program is to make uh, these approaches to lifestyle intervention and behavioral medicine for people with prediabetes uh, reimbursable and accessible to as much of the 85 million people with prediabetes in the US as possible. However, their approach was face to face. And that's kind of where we came in. We built the world's first web version of this face-to-face -face intervention to enhance scalability, because clearly with 85 million people, it's quite hard to deliver these programs face-to-face. -face. And it's called Prevent. Um, it's extremely high touch, though it's delivered digitally. It's multimodal. Uh, it involves kind of uh, groups, kind of curriculum, a digital scale with a cellular chip in it, you know, a, a timeline, packages along the way, just a whole host of elements to make people successful. Um, and it's divided into three primary phases. So first, we enroll people. Um, we match them into these groups, and we kick them off on the 16-week core phase, and then we graduate them into the sustained phase of the program. Uh, so if you are a participant in Prevent, the first thing that happens is you get a digital scale with a cellular chip in it. This is part of your welcome kit. You step in it. You hear a beep. The data's in the system. You don't have to pair it with your Wi-Fi network or your phone. Participants love that. And then we put you in a group. So we match you in a group based on demographics that we feel will give the group some sense of similarity. Um, age, location, and BMI, and then we bring you through this program where once a week we're unlocking lessons, um, you're assigned a health coach who works to guide your group through the curriculum, um, everyone has a common weight loss goal of 7%, you actually get to see progress toward that goal in the form of a green circle around each person, so you can see how others are doing relative to you, um, and then we bring you through the lessons, and as you go through, we mail packages along the way. Um, so it works. This is, uh, you know, these are some of our data. So the top line is a typical employer-based weight loss program. Usually that's 
kind of a steps challenges program, um, you know, generally pretty light touch. The red line is what you typically see in person for these sorts of programs. And the blue line is our published data. So we published uh, data in a peer-reviewed journal over the course of the year. We just submitted our two-year data for publication. And we work with a whole host of commercial entities in the US uh, to deliver this program digitally um, for them. Uh, so really, what this uh, you know, is enabling and the concept behind this is behavioral medicine works. There's no doubt about that. The challenge is delivering it reproducibly, cost-effectively, and scalably. Um, when you use digital to do that, and you can very accurately monitor your outcomes and charge for that outcomes, it actually enables you to commercialize that clinical outcome in the same way as other medical interventions. Um, because through the, you know, through the host of, of human history, clinical outcomes have usually, usually been created you know, with, with a molecule, with a device, you know, a procedure. Um, technology can now get clinical outcomes, and digital programs like this uh, can do so. And, and, and when, that, when you prove that, when you publish these outcomes, which more and more entrepreneurs like myself and companies like myself are doing, you can actually start to sell them in the same way as uh, you know, more traditional uh, medical interventions. Uh, so at Omada, we think that someday there will be a Genentech of digital health and a Genentech of behavioral medicine. You know, obviously, we hope that um, would be us, but that is um, our company. So thank you all. <laughs>